Hi, I hope you're doing great. So in this series of videos, I want to talk about CSV Kit. So CSV Kit is a command line tool, or really it's a collection of several command line tools for converting and working with CSV files. You can do a bunch of things with CSV Kit, starting with like converting from CSV files to Excel files. Then you can select columns, sort them, export them the way you want to, rearrange them, get statistics and so on and so on. I thought I'd make a couple of videos here on YouTube just showing you how this tool works so that you can get started using it. To be completely honest, it's really not that difficult of a tool to learn. So just so that you can see is this is a documentation of CSV kit. The version that's currently being used is 1.07 here. And you can see the documentation. And actually, if you go to the tutorial, the tutorial here is quite good. I will actually follow the tutorial that's given here quite closely in the videos, although I will add or subtract a few things and give my own examples and so on. Especially when it comes to anything command line based, I'll probably give a bit more details than they do. As an example, in this video, we'll install CSV Kit. Contrary to the tutorial, I will install it inside a virtual environment. So there will be many of these small differences between what I'm teaching in the tutorial, but I just want to let you know that I will be sticking quite close to the tutorial on this, in contrary to other videos on different topics that I have, just because the tutorial here on their own page is pretty, pretty good. So let's get started. Here I am in a Unix based shell. Actually, I'm running this on a Windows machine, but I'm using the Linux subsystem. But the specific configuration doesn't really matter that much for the CSV kit. So what I will do is to make a directory, let's call it CSV kit tutorial. And then let's enter into that folder. And here I'll use virtual env to make a virtual environment. Let's just call this venv. Oops, I just misspelled it, so it's virtual and let's call it venv like this. So now we've made a virtual environment. So in case if you're not sure about what this really means, so making a virtual environment allows us to create an isolated environment so that when I start installing packages, which I will do with the Python's pip installer, then I will essentially just install them in a local sense here so that they don't cause any conflicts globally with other packages. So what you can see here now inside the folder that if I print this out, I have now a venv folder. So if you're not used to this, we can take a quick look. Let's go into it. And here you can see I have a bin, a lib, and a pyvenv.configuration file. We can go into the binary folders here. And here you can see a lot of files. So honestly, you don't really need to concern yourself too much with this, except that you can see here that we have something like Python here, and actually Python 3.8, and we have some pip things already going for us. What we first want to do, let me just go two steps back into the main folder, is to activate this virtual environment. So I go into venv and into the bin, and I activate the file called activate. And now you can see in most of these command line editors here that I have this venv here. This indicates that I'm now inside the virtual environment in the sense that if I now start to download packages, I'll just download them locally here in this environment. It's just a good practice in general to use these isolated settings here when working with new projects. So now I can go to Python and go into pip and do pip install CSV kit. And that's more or less it. Hopefully that went fine. It should have went fine. But if you're unsure, what you can do now is to go into your virtual environment, into the bin folder, take a look here. And here you can see that we've gotten a lot of new things. Specifically here we have this CSV clean, CSV cut, CSV format, CSV grep, CSV join, CSV JSON look, and so on and so on. And remember earlier I said uh, that CSV kit is really just a collection of tools, not just one tool. Each of these here is now a command that you can use inside this virtual environment. So let's go back here. So I'm just doing a lot of this going in and going out of the venv folder to illustrate. You don't really need to concern yourself too much with this folder. This will just be essentially lying here and you don't need to do anything with it. Just nice to see that we actually have installed something. But if I type CSV kit, you can see here command CSV kit not found. This is simply because it's these commands that it now recognizes. So we can do for instance, let's do this one into CSV. This is the one I will talk about in this video just do into CSV, I actually get that it recognizes it and here it describes the usage and you get some error message here that is not incredibly useful if you don't know about this, but anyway, it recognizes the command. Now the installation is done, let's clear the page here. And I want to show you this first command into CSV. So this command is a super useful command for converting Excel files or say JSON files into CSV. And it's pretty self-explanatory, it's literally into CSV. 
So I simply need to supply the into CSV command here with some file path, but so far I don't have any files, so we need to create one. They have some example data here that we also can fetch. What we can do is use the curl command, which goes to this address here and fetches this Excel file. So let me just copy this and copy this in and run it. I'll post this link here in the description of the video so that you can just paste it in and then just use curl-l-o. Now, if we take a look, we have our Excel file. Excel files are great if you want to do some data analysis, but honestly, if you just want to, for instance, take a look at the data or do something short, then it's really annoying to have to open Excel. And completely honestly, I don't think I have Excel on this computer, so that would make it pretty difficult. So if you just want to take a look, so typically you can take a look at text files with a cat command. So this has nothing to do with the CSV kit. This is just a generic bash command. Then I can try that. But if you've ever tried to look at an Excel file, it's completely scrambled, so that won't really do. I think you can see where we're going. We're of course going to use the into CSV command and here paste in the file name. So I just press NE and then tab to autocomplete. A very useful feature of the terminal that you should get used to is just tab completion. So press in NE here and then tab and you'll fill out the name completely. If I run this, I kind of get the file, right? I mean, here is the file, it's uh, quite enormous. So if you see now in the folder, uh, there isn't really nothing new here. So what's happened is I've used this into CSV command on this Excel file and the result is a CSV file and it's just been printed essentially to the terminal here. That might be what you want, but honestly, I would prefer right now to save it to a file. The way to do this is to take the same command we had like this. And then here, I want to send this to a file called, let's call it data.csv. And now if we take a look at the directory here, you can see that we have this new file here. Now we can do whatever we want with it. Again, if we want to display it, we can again use say cut for instance, on the data file now, and you can see that we get the file. If this is incredibly overwhelming, as it is to me, then you can do head, for instance, of data.csv. And by using head, you just get a few of the top rows instead of the whole thing. So both cut and head have nothing to do with CSV kit or just generic bash commands. So just a final thing here in the documentation, as you can see, first of all, I'm following the documentation quite closely because it's so good. But also here, when you have a new command like into CSV, what they call the Excel killer, then you can press here and here you get some more information. So for instance, this is what we also saw in the terminal. Here you can see some optional arguments that you can also pass in. Some of them are useful. Some of them are honestly not so useful. One of them, which is a bit useful, is this one, the sheet. This is if your Excel file has different sheets and you only want to convert, say, one of them. You don't need to spend a lot of time configuring this special arguments, typically just the out of the box behavior is exactly what you want. Throughout this course, I'll look at all the important commands that CSV kit has to offer and we'll use the setup that we've started here. I'm really looking forward to test out these commands with you because honestly, this is just a great tool. It's so easy to use and it's incredibly useful, especially when it comes to, for instance, data engineering, we have to convert things and this makes it so much simpler to actually automate as well, instead of manually opening Excel files. So I hope you're excited for the next couple of videos. I definitely am. And I'll see you again soon.